Hello once again, my name is Jonah and welcome to Bisaya Classroom. Our lesson for today is about the pleasant Bisaya words and phrases. So, um, we will be discussing the Bisaya words and phrases which are nice to hear. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to, number one, identify the pleasant words and phrases in Bisaya. Number two, use these pleasant words and phrases in a sentence. And number three, appreciate the importance of saying good things to others. Also, at the end of this lesson, you will answer the 10-item short quiz. Um, this quiz is placed at the end of this lesson for you to check yourself if you really learned something. But before we start, I please request you to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified. We shall start. Number one, guapo. Guapo. Guapo means handsome. You usually say it to a male or a man or a boy. Uh, special shout out to Mas Guapo Ako. Uh, he told me that he was able to learn something from the previous lesson on Bisaya words and phrases for traveling. Hello, mas guapo ako. I hope that you will learn a lot more on this lesson. Next is guapo ko. Guapo ko, it means I am handsome. So when you put the word ko, it pertains to the speaker. So guapo ko, meaning I am handsome. Guapo ka, it means you are handsome. So when you use ka, it means you are talking to another person. Okay? Ko is for you, while ka is for another person. So when you say guapo ka, you're saying you are handsome. Guapa means beautiful. So you usually say it to girls. Okay? Girls, um, yeah, female. Guapa ko, meaning the speaker is beautiful so she's saying i am beautiful guapa ko but when you say guapa ka it means you are beautiful so you are describing the person in front of you guapa ka nindot nindot means nice or beautiful you usually um, use it this word to appreciate a thing or a quality or a place okay guapo is also the same with nindot a while ago i told you that guapa means hands handsome but um uh, bisaya people they usually interchange guapo to nindot okay guapo or nindot they are interchangeably used to describe beautiful things or nice things beautiful places or nice places beautiful happenings or nice happenings guapo and nindot okay let's use guapo or nindot in a sentence example you would say you have a nice car so you shall say nindot ka og sakyanan Nindut ka og sakyanan. Sakyanan means car or a vehicle. Nindut ka og sakyanan. Nindut ka og sakyanan. Remember, ka, it means you, right? Okay, nindut ka og sakyanan. Or, guapo ka og sakyanan. So, guapo and nindut can be used interchangeably. Guapo ka og sakyanan. Nindot ka og sakyanan. We can also have Nindot ka og balay. Or guapo ka og balay. It means you have a nice house. Balay means house. Okay? You have a nice house. 
Nindot ka o balay or guapo ka o balay. Nindot ka o tingog or guapo ka o tingog. It means you have a nice voice. Tingog means voice in Bisaya. Nindot ka o tingog. Guapo ka o tingog. Nindot ka o sanina or Guapo ka og sanina. It means you have a nice dress. Sanina is dress. Next is palanga. Palanga as a noun means as a person or someone you love or care about. Okay? Palanga, it means uh, it uh, identifies or meaning you are pertaining to the person you love or you care. It can be your family members, it can be your friends, it can be your special someone. Palanga. Or you can shorten it to panga. Panga. It means the same. It's just shortened. Panga. Panga. You can use it to call that person. Panga. Or you can shorten it a little further. Ga. Ga. Hello, ga. Hello, ga. Okay. Next, palanga as a verb, it means loving or love or care or caring. So, let me use that one in a sentence. Palanga nako si mama. Meaning, I love my mother. Palanga, that's the verb there. Nako, it means the possessive one, my. And then, si mama means mother. Mama is mother. Si there is just a, um, it's just a connector. Okay? Or, I love my mother. It's palanga na ko si mama. Um, palanga na ko si mama could also mean I care for my mother. Okay? So, you can change si mama. You can make it like uh, your father palangga na ko si papa so in Bisaya, mama and papa or uh, they would also use uh, nanay or tatay nanay for mother tatay for father again palangga is love or loving as a verb or care or carry we also have this phrase, palangga tika, which means I love you, or it could also mean I care for you. Palangga tika. Palangga tika. Don't worry, palangga tika. We also have this phrase, gihigugma tika, which means I love you. When you were, when you listened to my previous lessons on uh, polite words and no, no, no. It's not the polite words and phrases. It's the five um, five signs that someone likes or loves you. You can check out that lesson on my channel. So, I told you that ihigugmatika is I love you. So, what is the difference between palangatika and gigugmatika? So, gigugmatika solely means I love you. It's it's um, the deepest um, I love you phrase in Bisaya. Gigugmatika, meaning I love you, because the root word there, gugma, means love. While palangatika, it can mean I love you, but half of it means I care for you. Okay? But when you go to the deeper meaning of loving, just use gihigugmatika. It means I love you. Because gugma means love. Next is lami. Lami means delicious. Okay? Usually you say this word when you are eating. When you're describing food. Lami. Lami aoy. Lami aoy. 
it means wow it is delicious usually you say it when you have tasted a food and because it is so delicious you just exclaimed to yourself nobody is asking you you just exclaimed lami aoy lami aoy when the person who prepared food heard you that you exclaimed to yourself lami aoy he or she would really feel fulfilled because you are liking her preparation or his preparation lami kaayo it means very delicious if you remember kaayo is an intensifier so lami kaayo very delicious usually you say it when the person asks you how is the food how's the food you can say lami or you can say lami kaayo very delicious or you could say lami kaayo ang pagkaon to specify it lami kaayo ang pagkaon the food is very delicious lami kaayo ang pagkaon pagkaon means food lami kaayo ang pagkaon and then you should say salamat Lami kayong pagkaon. Salamat means thank you. Daghang salamat means thank you very much or many thanks. It is really very important to appreciate presence especially when you are visiting a place and when you use Bisaya, they would greatly appreciate it even further because they can understand it. So whether it be their appearance, their their properties, their their car, their things, or even their food, it's very important to utter pleasant words and phrases. Let's give positive energy, everyone. Now it's quiz time. I hope that you are ready. So I will be I will be presenting the um, English word or phrase and then you are going to guess you're going to guess the bisaya word okay let's start number one yes i told you this is a 10 item quiz test yourself number one handsome handsome five four three two one Yes, guapo. Number two, beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful girl. Yeah. How would you say um, the girl is beautiful in Bisaya? Five, four, three, two, one. Yep, that's guapa. Number three, nice or beautiful when you are appreciating a thing. How will you say it? Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. That's nindut or guapo. Number four, delicious. Delicious. Five, four, three, two, one. Yep, that's lami. Number five very delicious five four three two one yep that's lami kaayo next number um six oh number seven you have a nice car five four three two one Nindut ka og sakyanan. Or if your answer is guapo ka og sakyanan, then that's also correct. How about you have a nice voice? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, that's nindut ka og tingog or guapo ka og tingog. How about I love you? I love you in a deeper way. I love you. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Yep, that's gihiguma tika. If you answered uh, palanga tika, then that's also acceptable. But when you just really mean I love you, you can use gihiguma tika. Love. 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 Five, four, three, two, one. Yep, that's gugma. How about someone you love? How do you how do you describe them or I mean how do you call them? Five four three two one Yep that's ga this is the shortest one okay if you answered palanga or if you answered panga that's also correct I just placed there the shortest one ga Okay, good job. If you learned from this lesson, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Always remember that it is good to spread positivity. So I hope that you can use those pleasant words and phrases when you encounter Bisaya people on your travel or maybe you have Bisaya friends in your workplace or you have a Bisaya loved one. Don't forget to use these words and inform me how it went. See you next time in Visaya Classroom.